Howdy, folks. Uh, this is Charles Daring. Uh, before any pa anybody panics, if you saw the title saying final schedule show, it means... Uh, are y'all, first of all, are y'all able to hear me decently? Okay. I, my mic isn't as close as usual because my office chair broke and it's leaned back permanently. Uh, uh, it's not, I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm not quitting live streams. I'm just, the only thing I'm ceasing is a scheduled Friday show. It's, uh, trying to think of the words, uh, without talking too much about myself, just life getting in the way, depression taking hold again. And uh, the depression is not, not linked to YouTube, but I think the viewers and subscribers deserve a good show from me. And as some of y'all have seen, my mental health has gotten in the way a few times. So uh, I figured it would be best to just, you know, put out announcements when I'm doing a live stream. Uh, I need, I've been needing to do project videos anyway, because there's only so many people that want to watch me do a pattern uh, live or cutting, cutting something live. I'm not saying I won't do those anymore, but the depression has nothing to do with YouTube. It's just, uh, it, it gets a grip on me and I don't think it's fair to my subscribers and viewers for me to try to fake a show, uh, just to get, uh, participation on the channel. Uh, but thank y'all for being here. I think that was everything. Uh, if y'all are still interested in shirts or Patreon, uh, if you're watching this for the first time, shirts are the way my logo looks. It says, you know, scroll on. It's got a picture and uh, the word scroll on beneath it. Or you can get a t-shirt with just scroll on the text. Uh, if you... If you so choose, no pressure whatsoever, uh, it'd be appreciated. But uh, I believe I've sold four or five since they came out. I appreciate that. I do have coffee cups uh, with the same two options. Uh, all of those are on woodenvisions.com. Uh, my channel will still be sponsored by Herniel Media. And uh, thank you, Herniel Media, for standing by me for so long and doing my website. I'm not quitting anything except for scheduling. Uh, so, and Steve, Steve Nealon is our nail media. And I'm sorry for talking so slow and dragged out. I'm just trying not to step all over myself. Um, some would call me the Garth Brooks of live shows. And that doesn't mean popularity or whatever, you know, people that retire and come back, retire and come back. It, it's, it's <laughs> I know it seems like that uh, with me and shows. And uh, I don't think that's fair to my viewers. But again, I'm not quitting YouTube or project videos or live streams, just the uh, specific Friday shows. I may still do an occasional Friday show unless somebody else starts up one. I don't want to step on their toes, even though some people say, worry about yourself, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, let's get back started. Uh, some of this. <laughs> uh, okay. Where, where was I? Oh, yeah. Let's get started. <laughs> if any of this confuses you. Sorry, Leah. I had to meet you. Uh, if any of this confuses you, there is a part one. It's not called part one because I thought I would finish it. <laughs> Silly me. But two videos ago, uh, I did from here over on paper, uh, which is this right here. And uh, so tonight will be, actually it's right about there. Tonight will be this half and me scanning it in. And you'll get to see how I clean it up on a computer now. For those of you that haven't watched before, the uh, sorry, I'm easily distracted. <laughs> I need to stop watching the chat. I got three guys here that can watch it. I guess I should introduce them. That's how good I do things. Yeah, I'm gonna start with uh, Al Forte. Al, thank you so much for being here and for having been here so many times. And uh, 
uh, tell everybody where they can find you, please, sir. Thank you, uh, Al Forte, uh, Odessa Woodworking on YouTube, and uh, Odessa Woodworking and Maker Shop on Facebook. Did I say that right? I think so. No, actually, it's the other way around. It's it's <laughs> Odessa Woodworking uh, uh, on on Facebook and Odessa Woodworking and Maker Shop on on Facebook. <laughs> on YouTube. Oh man, man. And, and Twitch on YouTube. top of that. Holy smokes! Ah. Anyway, yeah. Thank did, you. Did, for, you, did for, you want to say anything about? Uh, uh, you, well, well, I don't know. I, I don't remember. Yet, not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. But, but I, I mean, I've I've been I've been on Twitch uh, under two other usernames and, and Al Forte and Kilroy seven nine seven six three as some have have seen me tonight and I'm kind of getting confused as to who I am or where I am or what I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and that's really, for real. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, uh, if you don't mind remuting yourself, I'm going to run on over to Mr. Paul out of the Mid State, Michigan, and we're watching the. Hi there, I'm Paul Corliss, and I'm totally organized. And <laughs> Paul's Organized Workshop. <laughs> you can find me at Paul's Messy Workshop on YouTube, Paul's Messy Workshop uh, on Instagram, and Paul's Messy Workshop.com. And I appreciate you having me on here, Charles, and I'm looking forward to seeing how the other half of this lighthouse comes together. Uh, me too, hopefully, because I'm going to eliminate the tree, but I'll get to that. And uh, thank you, Paul, for having been here so many times. And hey, I killed. enjoy it. And I, I know uh, that a lot of people in the uh, chat are very faithful. I don't want to distract myself by trying to read off all the names, but I know there's a faithful bunch that come out there, and that means the world to me. Anyways, I'm not going to get all sloppy. Uh, next, we have Lee Knight, and also known as Scrollers Chat. And he also has a Mon uh, it's usually Monday or Tuesday, but he can tell us all this. <laughs> uh, yeah, Monday nights is uh, Scrollers Chat. Tuesday nights is Designers Chat. The difference is Scrollers Chat is open to everything in, in scrolling, and uh, that's Monday nights at eight thirty, seven thirty Central. And uh, Tuesday nights is Designers Chat, which is all about designing scroll saw patterns. Uh, normally it's using GIMP, but there are a few other programs that I'm using, learning how to use. Uh, so we'll be having a few more uh, details once those shows come along. I'll uh, show you guys those programs too as I learn them. Then I'll teach you guys how to do them. Yeah, I also pretty nifty with those programs, but go ahead. I also run Scroller's Choice Magazine. Uh, if you guys don't know about the magazine, I've got a shameless plug in here. Uh, if Charles will let me. Yeah. Um, if you guys go to our website, which is right up here, which is Scrollers Choice Mag, Mag, M A G, for magazine, dot website dot com slash home. That's our website. You can order the print version of uh, the magazine, or you can order them in PDF. If you are in the United States, you can order print. Outside the United States, you have to order PDF. We can't ship to you. We're working on that, but. It's something we still have to figure out uh, for the future. Uh, we are working on the first issue for spring 2018. It is almost done. We will begin our next year sometime after January 5th website. Sometime after January because we're waiting for the uh, Scroll Saw Birdhouse Challenge to wrap up. Birdhouse Challenge is done. We will put up the magazine with the finished cover with a Winning Birdhouse is on it, and uh, it will open up registrations for the year after January 15th. Thanks, Charles. Ted, Ted Boer, thank you for being here, sir. I know you're not able to make it every week, but I appreciate the times you have been here. Um, I was going to say something. I don't remember what it was now. Uh, I think it was important. Oh. Gee, Charles, that sounds like me, bud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Sadly, I think I'm kind of known for it. I, I, I can just be talking and suddenly squirrel. Anyway, uh, I lost it again. Oh, just just some shout outs. Uh, Eloy has been on the show a few times. Eloy Escajedo. Esca, um, his website is Rockin' Woodworks. Rock 
and then the letter N, and then wood, wood, it's either Woodworks or Woodworking. They'll collect, they'll correct me out in the chat. Uh, he has a show on Tuesday nights, and uh, I believe this. I know I'm going to be on the show at some point, but I think it's this coming Tuesday. I, uh, I believe I'm his spotlight guest. Uh, if anybody wants to pry into my unique little mind, uh, anyway, so. Hope y'all will check that out, uh, regardless of Charles, what uh, Jim Brasier said, Eloy who? Escajero. <laughs> uh, you go to Skull Chair on YouTube, and he's the first result. If you ask Eloy, uh, he, may, he may still be. It's spelled E-S-C-A-G-E-D-O. And I believe it's Woodworking. Rockin', I don't remember what his website is. Rockin' Woodworks, I think. But Steve Nealon's out in the chat. He'll probably tell me, or Dave Jones. Uh, portal woodworks uh we'll tell you and eloy might even be out there anyway i can already see a grin on lee's face god knows what's happening i'm trying to post the the url to to his facebook page and it doesn't they don't, yeah the chat doesn't let you post i don't know how jamie's able to do it on eloy's show but i can never get a there was a funny comment on the chat charles but i can't repeat it on there i understand i understand completely because i know how that chat can get which is why i love it but uh you know Anyway, okay. Okay, I need to remove the panel. Not remove, but hide. We're being removed. Help. Uh, I'm sorry. We're down here. <laughs> okay. I am going to do my darndest to eliminate this tree because there's not a whole lot of guesswork of what's behind it because that tree would add probably three hours to this design. <laughs> uh, I, I think I'm all in camera here. Because I got a green bar because I'm doing the uh, presentation thing. Anyway, uh, y'all let me know if anything I'm doing is not in the screen. But anyway, uh, so this is where we are. That's the shadow on the left side of the chimney. And we're going to get started. If anybody has any questions of any degree about anything, whether it's scrolling or not, I will answer it. If I know the answer, I am an open book. Uh, just to not have dead air. Uh, for those of your first time viewer, I I wish my chair wasn't broken. Anyway, if you're a first time viewer, I uh, I use a piece of glass because you don't want texture when you're using a pen. Otherwise, okay. First of all, <laughs> let me kind of mighty. It's a wonder I'm still breathing. Uh, clean sheet of paper first. And it is going to be in portrait format. Portrait means vertical. Uh, landscape is horizontal. Just for, most people know that because of printer, <laughs> printer settings. Excuse me. Uh, but I put a clean sheet of paper down on a piece of glass because when I'm drawing on the paper, which is the lighthouse you just saw, I don't want my pen to bump over a texture unless there's texture on the glass and there shouldn't be because I just cleaned it. Right as I say that, I found something. Anyway. So that's why what the glass is for. If you have a scuff free, uh, what you call it, then uh, desktop, then you don't need a piece of glass. But better safe than sorry, I always say. And this is carbon paper. I I am out of my usual, so this is slightly lighter, but it should still work. And we're going to tape that into place so that nothing moves. Because it moves, that can screw everything up. And after, if you watched the last show, you heard me saying I couldn't believe it took that long and it still looks so simple. Uh, am I in my term of what I call simple? Hello, Javi. Go ahead and introduce yourself, Javi, uh, since you're here and I'm barely started. Hey, Charles. How's everybody? How's uh, how you doing? Al, Paul, everybody. Uh, uh, I'm Javier Onzuera, Javi's Woodshop. You can find me on Twitch on uh, Thursday nights. And Javi's Woodshop uh, YouTube channel. That's it. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry I forgot to mention your show. And uh, we also have Jamie Page. He does Makers International podcast. One of, well, I think, five people. Uh, I know all of them. I just don't want to try to count in my head right now. He does it on Sundays, I believe, 4.30 Eastern or Central. I don't remember because that would be too convenient. Am I missing anybody, Javi, that does... Well, we got Russ Clarity on Saturday nights, and I believe his Twitch is Wednesday nights. I could be wrong. You're uh, right. Yep. 
Also on Saturdays, uh, pretty soon Dave is going to be doing some interviews on Saturday. You got Eloy already, Tuesdays? Yes. <laughs> and Dave Gatton just, just started his show back up, didn't he? Uh, he started. Uh, it's a little bit different. Dave is going to be doing an interview. He's going to interview a CNCer uh, each week. Oh, okay. And... Um, I believe that show is on Saturdays as well, but it's after usually after Russ's, I think. Uh, not not this time. He's uh, we're all getting a bit uh, overlapped, uh, gray, and uh, the earlier the better. So I believe his is on eight, but do not quote me. Ten four. Uh, is that uh, Eastern or Central? Yeah, that would be Eastern. All righty. Uh, what time is Russ's show? Uh, also, I believe at eight. Oh, okay. I'm sure there's smiles going around. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> okay. In my opinion, this for as long as this took. If you were watching that show, I cannot believe it looks so simple. So that being said, I may add a couple bricks here and there, just you know, before I post it to the website. I may not. You may see it like this, but you will see me cleaning it up. And let's get started. I gotta tape the carbon paper sometimes referred to as transfer paper to the glass so it does not move same with the uh printed out sheet that's on top i do mine on paper always have the only reason i do anything on the computer is for the sake of displaying it online i i want people to quickly be able to see what gets cut out and what doesn't and nine times out of ten on a scroll saw pattern the dark areas are cut out if not any designer i'm aware of will say cut out the white if it's something that you have to cut out the white and bear with me i'm trying to get the tape off the roll and i don't want to get too too sentimental but yeah the the dedicated people that come to these chats mean a lot. I mean, some of them are newbies to the chats, but they've been faithful since they came around, and I, that's appreciated. Okay. Let me keep this in view here. After I take this down, I'll rip off what I've already, whatever's hanging off the glass so I can move it around easier. I don't really need this white part being on the carbon paper, so I'm going to go right about there. I'm lining it up at the bottom and my monitor's in the way. Trying to keep it square to the sheet of paper underneath. And then we put something with some kind of weight on top of it in order to tape it down so it does not move. Y'all are just talking way too much. Keeping that chat entertained aspect. The chat is keeping itself entertained talking about the weather, and I'm trying to stay on topic since. No, you... no, no. Boy, <laughs> <laughs> I sound like a, a hard butt saying that, but yeah. But, Charles, uh, yes. Philip says, uh, My mom and aunt know who you are, and says, Thanks for the new shirt. Awesome. Uh, hi, mom and aunt. I don't know if it's because of the shirt they know who I am, and thank you. CJ for getting that shirt. I believe he was the first. And then it was Ron Buchanan and Becky and Ken McCrory and a couple other people I can't remember. No offense. I'm sorry. I'm just, my brain cells don't work together all the time. Okay. I'm you're so quiet as you told us to stay on topic, but you haven't done anything. <laughs> 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 sorry, Charles. I, uh, no, I, I, I get it. That. that was, that was no. too much of an opening for me. Well, I know, and I, for those that are just joining us for the first time, I'm not a hard butt. I, I've just, I try to watch feedback of comments I get, and that may have come across like um, I'm iron fisted, and I know these guys know I don't try to be. Uh, but this is the final show, as long as we don't spend the whole show talking about completely different things, I think we should be good. You know, not everybody's going to like it. Not everybody's going to. 
So Charles, what's that spot on the uh, roof? Did, did we ever figure that uh, out? I think it's bird poop or just to. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's on topic. He's referring to this, this right here. <laughs> bird poop. Could, could it be snow or no? Uh, yeah. No, uh, no, because the ground, the grass is green. Uh, yeah, we, we oh yeah, that's true. That's true. What are we talking mm -hmm. about. I thought it might be a scuff on a photograph, but it was probably directly uploaded from whatever device took the picture. Yeah, since since snow was mentioned, I hope that everybody out there is staying warm and 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 have heat and you know it, it's it's pretty bad out there. Even oh, here, yeah, I'm, I'm staying warm and I'm and I have heat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> The, uh, I'm in most, Miami. <laughs> hey, I left Tampa, and then Tampa went, I mean, totally cold, too. So. Yeah, yeah uh, most of this past week was uh, below freezing here in Texas. Yeah. It's been crazy. It's been snowing in Orlando. I haven't snowed in Orlando in year, in ages. Exactly. Yep. You, you got it. Yeah, yeah, somehow there's global warming. Uh, could have pulled me. And we actually had a teeny tiny bit of snow, and that's really rare around here. I mean, actually got to walk out in it and three of them landed on me and it went away. Yeah, Ken McCrory says that uh, it's reindeer poop. Reindeer poop. Okay, okay I'm going to go uh, ahead and tape down this side. just. To, just to Dave, Dave Gatton said there's a possibility he may start the 13th, but definitely the 20th. If not, uh, he'll, have a, he'll have a show. Even if and, you don't like CNC, uh, Dave is a great guy and I know everybody that knows him can back me up on that. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. And it's basically, I mean, it's 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 you know some people some people say uh uh some people are <laughs> weary of interview shows and it but uh, most people for the most part it really enjoy getting to know about their their fellow woodworkers yeah whether whether it's a scroller a cnc or a turner whatever the case may be it's always interesting to to see you know their interests how they came up what special skills they have million and one questions. Yeah. And, uh, I think Eloy does a great job with that. He, uh, dives deeper than I, than I did when I was doing it. And it got, for me, there was a lot of people doing it. I didn't feel pushed out. I, I took myself out of the, the interview portion of live shows because, uh, other people knew more people and had access to other people. And I figured, you know, maybe I'll try doing stuff live and, you know, you know, that's where we are. But yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, kudos to all those guys. Uh, I know Russ sometimes does projects, sometimes does topics, sometimes does interviews. Yeah. And, hey, every Everyone that has a show, well, not everyone, but uh, I know you have and, and Russ has uh, has had guests on and, uh, and we always learn a little something. I mean, uh, I've been interviewed twice on, on a couple of different actual interview shows and it's been... I've I've been surprised at stuff that I've said that I they they <laughs> ask me questions they go I didn't I completely forgot about that. Y'all might be in know? trouble when I'm on a Eloy show Tuesday. Y'all might be in trouble because uh, I'll answer pretty much anything. I mean I'll be family friendly with it, but I'll pretty much answer anything. So Eloy, if you're listening, there's nothing you can't ask me. It just has to be a family friendly answer. Uh, anyway, if y'all remember last. Uh, last show. Well, no, last show was Willie Nelson, and it went well. Anyway, I don't. Have, I already threw it away. So, y'all might remember the weird-looking doors. So I left them off of these, but this side actually has normal. Well, I say that, but one of them doesn't. There's two shutters on this window, and not two on this one, or it's or it's facing the edge is facing you, and maybe that's why. So I'm going to add a shutter there to be consistent. There's two on this one. Uh, this shadow, I don't know. Oh, that's the solar panel. That's that's the shadow of the solar panel. We'll be leaving that out because that looks too modern. <laughs> There's just one more thing we don't need to add. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, I wish my chair wasn't broken. Oh. There's some kind of little thing jutting out of the chimney. We're not even going to worry about that. And I I'm trying to look to see if I created a break in here on that chimney detail and I did so because that is it juts out slightly from the rest of the chimney so 
I'm going to suggest that with a line right here. And i got to find my straight edge or roller. Growing up, I called it a roller. Now some people call it straight edge. But anyway, I'm not going to go all the way across because I want to do a line up this side of the chimney too to suggest that. So I'm just going to go part way across. Yes. Oh, so somebody None unmuted. of my edges have ever been straight. I, was, <laughs> I thought it was muted. Oh, it's okay. I'm not. I'm not going to freak out or anything. Uh, okay. Now, if you were doing this, you'd be more than welcome to do the detail on the roof. And uh, like the shingles you see here, they're not really. What's the what's the visual term for audible? Audible is sound visual visual yeah i guess visual yeah they're not visible yeah visible oh, wow probably a good thing this is my final schedule show anyway <laughs> uh you can see most of the horizontal stripes but not many of the whatever but you can suggest these with just like a line and then an occasional one coming down blah 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 blah, blah. same with the bricks i mean if you want to go overkill and do every single brick and all you have left for wood is the mortar then you're braver than i am and that's a lot saying considering the uh detail i put into some of my stuff but uh okay so i did that line that's all we've done and the show's been going for 30 minutes oh this is gonna be a long one okay now my eyesight's going to crap so every now and then if you see me lift the thing out of range i gotta make sure whether or not i have made a pen line okay well, at least my hat's not stuck in the picture. Am I zooming in enough or zoomed in too far or blah, 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 blah? It looks good. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So we're going to. Yeah, I kept I kept looking at that white thing. I mean, it's, uh, for a second, I thought it might have been like soot from the from the top, you know, falling. But the, yeah, you're right. The most likely thing is bird, uh, bird uh, presence. <laughs> We, we can say poop. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> bird presence. Yeah, but I can't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was somebody else about to say something? No, no. I said evidence. It was evidence. Yeah. I mean, definitely from like from a typical, like anything that does look like a scuff, but I mean, yeah, I know we're over talking it, but uh, yeah, it, it's probably 99% chance that's bird poop, but I'm not going to do what and was Charles's heard. show about tonight? Well, we were looking at a roof and a chimney, and it was all potty talk. Absolutely. That's how we roll. <laughs> well, we've had some zingers in the past, haven't we? Okay, I'm just suggesting the top of the chimney. Now, obviously, if we do this side, we don't want to go all the way up because that would make the chimney. Well, no. See, okay, if you're watching this for the first time, I tend to change my mind in real time, and you, and I might change it right back. But anyway, uh, we have a connection to another area that's not cut out yet right here. So if we wanted to come completely down with that, we could. But I also want to suggest where the chimney meets the roof, so I'm thinking this out loud. I'm, I could just come part way down with 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 this line yeah. all katie, right you katie still thinks it was a uh, flying cow <laughs> yeah well, that, that that would definitely be a little messier and probably a little browner <laughs> well yeah <laughs> that's one thing i'll definitely miss is the uh the weekly entertainment uh again uh not quitting youtube not quitting live streams just the specific guaranteed friday shows and if anybody starts up a show on a Friday, I will do my best not to overlap it, but can't always avoid yeah, that. Jim, anyway, Jim at a point, it could be calcium runoff. And then the. Since, yeah, but to only be in that one spot. It's well, uh, well, when you think about it, the, 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 the water rushes off the, uh, it, basically it, it, the water runs off the chimney itself. So the water is bringing down the minerals and since around the real close to the chimney there, there's a lot of water, but at the shore, if you will, that's where it uh, gets the, all the minerals get pushed out, carried out, dried out. So that could make sense. 
it's yeah. quite possible we will never know unless we go over there and scratch and sniff but uh if, they, it, was, <laughs> if, it, was, if it was across the roof i'm just gonna say it i, I would i wouldn't yeah I that, would, that would be explosive bird diarrhea but okay we Let's we we, that place. we have a connection here to the background so we know we're safe here this because we have a connection here and a connection here so i can go all the way up to this little bitty line i just drew and we'd still have two connections so it may not be that weak but i'm trying to decide if i should do it that way because it would only be holding on by two little spots but i think we're safe so let's just do it ignore the bird poop if you can and that there's how you suggest they're still they're still talking about flying cows and and my mind just for some reason drifted off and to started thinking of screensavers and flying toasters. Oh, they just be 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 glad that there aren't flying cows when it comes to your vehicle windshield. Well, that being said, I have a crack right through my field of vision on my windshield, and I can't afford to replace it. But anyway, uh, I see a video snippet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the talent to do that. I mean. Well, you could superimpose a cow in the in the in the, in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> you you also cry anyway. Uh, so we've done just a little line here and there, and now we see the top of the roof on that side. We've already done this side on the last video, and we have a connection here, a connection here, and that should be strong enough. If not, uh, if you're doing something like this, you're more than welcome to. Do it your way. Go ahead, Javi. I heard, heard you breathe in like you're about to say something. No, actually, I'm getting oh, up. I'll be back in a few. All righty, then. Katie now, Dotson said it was probably a pterodactyl. Oh, diddly do. That means fossilized poop. <laughs> oh, the stuff we talk about. Okay. I know. I think these are just decoration. But I, I, obviously we know what they are, but uh, the shadow from under the eave, I believe that's what it's called, it's the eave, uh, is in by, back behind that. And I don't know how well you can tell, but that wasn't a completely, where am I at? That's not a completely straight line because that's behind. And then the shadow of the upper board is coming across, so there's a slight angle there. And you might be thinking, why the heck did you point that out? It's because... I don't know. I'm trying to remotely teach art while I'm teaching how I'm doing this. And I look at little things like that, but you know, that's just shadow come from two different sides. And before I forget, I need to finish this shadow. But we got those little decorative braces sticking out. So we got to compensate for those. And not draw through them now there's one in here hidden in the shadows i'm not even going to try to make that show it, it's showing the the decorative part right here which is right here but it, it's mostly hidden in shadows so we're just going to pretend it's not even there if you see me stop it's because this is where we left off that's what this line is right here although i never drew that window i just realized that Oh, so you're, you're cutting out, uh, and this one you're cutting out the black or the white? The black. Uh, obviously, you're cutting out the black. Uh, I mean, in the end result. In the end result, you'll be cutting out the dark parts, and yes, it will. So yeah, are, are, you, are you putting in any bricks out of curiosity? I have not yet, but I'm considering it to suggest that it's made of brick, but that depends on time. But this being my final show, we can go for a four-hour one, but I'm pretty sure nobody would be left on the panel. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'd be conscious. She'd... Yeah. So let me go ahead and finish this line. And I feel like I su suggest bricks, but that can be done even just on the computer, I guess. Yeah. Now, the only place thus far that I have suggested bricks have been the little arches over the windows because, you know, they're not your typical vertical or horizontal bricks. So that's why I did that on those. And we had the same arches over these windows, so I'll be suggesting that. But this one's first thing I need to do is uh, do the shadow on there. 
I'm not connecting it to the window because I don't want to have overkill. And brittle. And there's the arch. I'm just going to put a little line down here. There's not even a mortar line there, but I'm just doing that to help accent that arch. And maybe a little bitty one here. And that's connected to this, so it's not a separate pilot hole. Uh, I'm going to skip the windows for now until I'm done doing roof shadows. Now I, there again, I've forgotten where I've been, so i got to look up close. Lord, I need no eyeballs. Now this is slightly textured because of the bricks they're laying over, but I'm not going to even mess with trying to... Because I think it would translate funny being a wavy line. So I'm just going to do a straight one. Keeping in mind where that that decorative bracket is. And not going through it. And now we're pretending we know what's behind that tree. And there's a shutter there. I'm glad I stopped right where I did. And then we have a, a bracket. So I need to just imagine that I can see them. Now, anytime there's a straight line, most times I will use a straight edge like this, but not every time. I think I'm there. Okay, and I'm just going to copy what I did here onto this one. And incidentally, Lee, Lee Niden, uh here on the panel uh, is actually one that found this picture as well as the other lighthouse I posted. And uh, he sent me the photo because we have two completely different styles. Uh, and I appreciate Lee letting me do that. You know, I mean, I say letting, but it's an ethical thing. We try not to step on each other's toes, uh, most, of, most designers. Yeah. Uh, but the fact that we have different uh, styles, I think it's actually a, a good learning thing, seeing how two different people can make the same photo look a little different or completely different, depending. And I really need to get bionic eyes here. Okay, I've already done that line. I will. I hope I don't mess it up. <laughs> no, I can't. No, I can't whistle it. I'm, I'm thinking the, the theme to the X-Files in, in my mind. Yeah. There you go. There you Listen. go. Awesome. Thank you. Thank are, we you. Still no problem. Talking, are we still referring to the poop? <laughs> no, Al wanted uh, Al uh, wanted the uh, X-Files theme song. and I, I thought it was a reference to something in the chat. No, if anybody says theme song and I instinctively have to sing whatever it is or whistle or whatever, it's it's... It's a defect I have. <laughs> I have a couple of those. Uh, <laughs> all right, goobers. Uh, <laughs> uh, this line I just made is just to show where the back of the bracket, I'm calling it a bracket or brace. I don't know what the heck it is. It's decorative. I'm quite I sure it's not holding the roof up. Go ahead. I think that's called a corbel. Co oh, okay. A, a corbel? Corbel. It's like C-O-R-B-A-L or something? That's as close as I could spell it. All righty then. So yeah, that's, I just drew that line to suggest that. I don't want to draw this one down here because that would make this be the only bridge and we don't want to. And, and what happens is uh, sometimes they're infested in, with termites and they get, you know what they get then. We're about to have a joke off a of corbel. Corbel tunnel syndrome. Or horrible, horrible yeah. corbels. Come on, that was funny, Dag. Have it give me one. I was a little late, but still there it is. Thank you, yeah. sir. I take sympathy. Uh, horrible, horrible, horrible. Yeah, yeah. Maturity is not required on this show. Uh, predicting the future, I will have a, a uh, uh, whatever that's called. Not, not a drum roll, but a, but a, what is that called? Rim shot. Rim shot. Rim shot. Thank you. I will have a rim shot sound. All right. <laughs> I need a laugh track for when people don't laugh at my jokes. Hey, Charles, that's spelled C-O-R-B-E-L. Corbel. Crap, I was so close. You were. 
Well, thank you for that. So yep. if y'all are wondering, these are corbels. That sounds like somebody choking on their own spit. Corbel. <laughs> okay. Right. Now I'm That's guessing, great. now we can basically tell that the roof line, sorry for interrupting Javi. I know we are on an awesome topic, but we have, <laughs> we, we, we got this line that we know goes right up to the house. So I'm keeping that in mind when I'm doing this shadow line, even though it's behind the tree. No, let's be consistent and use the straight edge to get that right. If you have a party and you have the accent on the wrong syllable, then uh, you can serve Corbell. Oh, God almighty. Oh, no. The bad, bad jokes will flow like the Corbell. <laughs> okay, I can't even tell what the heck. It's probably another Corbell. Oh, hey, Goober. <laughs> it's probably another uh, bracket here. Or uh, Corbell. Uh, I have a feeling. Bracket. No, I have a feeling that's a downspout. Okay. Uh, you see well, it I can't going down. It, so I'm just gonna pretend it's not there. L like the one on the left. Oh, thank you. Or, unless that's a. Actually, that's not a downspout. That's a beam. Another... That's a beam. It's 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 probably well, that. It's a, it's another gorble. Corble. Oh, is it? Gorble, gorble. Tomato, tomato. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, it's yeah another I'm, wooden I'm glad gerbil. you brought that up because wooden gerbil. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, I gotta think of how to mirror that. No, let's just do it like this because I think it's still going out from the house the same as these are but i can't really see it so i'm just guessing but that's it's jutting out probably just like this one so i'm just winging it and i know i use that word a lot and all we need is a simple line to suggest the edge of that roof we're not suggested to show it where's the end of it okay it's by that solar panel which we're not including We could if we wanted to, but that'd be just overkill, in my opinion. Uh, okay, so we've got that. Let me go ahead and do the uh, arch over this. Did, wait, did I do that line? No, I haven't done that roof line yet over there. You see, I'll remind me of that. If y'all forget, no, let's go do it now. We'll forget, surely. I actually haven't continued that line either. If it last left off here, I'm not going to go all the way to the peak because I'm going to be doing because I still wanted to have a connection here to connection, meaning, you know, wood to wood in the final cutting. But I do want to connect it here down to there. So taking in mind, we're not using that tree. I'm going to try to do this without hiding it from y'all. That's really hard to see. If I could just see through trees, we'd be done. I'm kidding. Uh, okay. I knew I drew a line. It just didn't show up on on camera because the ink spit. Anyway, this is a downspout. I know you were talking about downspouts, uh, 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 hubby. Mm -hmm. I'm running out of room. Anyways, that's a that is a downspout there. But we could even probably leave that out, even though it's part of the picture. It's you know. Kind of odd. Yeah. It's not odd. You know what I mean, Dag Blabbit. Take out anything you like. I'm not calling the building and zoning department. All righty, then. I really appreciate that. No worries. <laughs> this is the shadow under the arch. So that tells you it's coming out, obviously. I mean, this is just, I say obviously, but I, I try to teach little artsy things. Not that that was really an artsy thing. I was just explaining what that, that darkness was. And I may have to make that line a little shorter when I edit it because that's the only place holding on and right over here by the shutter. And we're doing those lines for where the bricks are. <clears throat> okay. I don't want to do this. I'm going to do this. I don't think I did it before. Okay. Now, even though, yeah, I just, I just realized because I can see the hinges. So I know that this other shutter that's on this side, you're looking at the front edge of it. Like, I can't do it on camera like this. So that's, that's why it looks funny. But I'm going to leave it. I'm going to have it open like these both are. Yes, Javi? Katie was talking about a, um, a bad drill press that she, that she got that the motor's, burning out or burned out and it's a 
It's, I was just about to tell her it's a 110 volt motor. I was just about to tell her, I ah, just hook it up to 220. Worst they can do is go faster. I'm just kidding. That do not take that advice. <laughs> no, no. Uh, free yeah. advice. <laughs> yeah, free advice, not necessarily good advice. Well, <laughs> I right know now, what I'm not talking about. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Katie, is the uh, motor replaceable or is it one of those just. Not worth Everything it. Everything is replaceable, my friend. How, how old is it, too, Katie? Yeah, it doesn't take a load. The motor, the motor's probably, probably uh, either under, underpowered or 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 burned out. Okay, I'm uh, suggesting the the panels on these shutters. So I just did a three sided rectangle. And you could just put a pilot hole right there in the corner, you know, however you want to do it. I use rather large blades, number threes and number fives, but I also cut rather large pictures. Number three and number five spirals from Flying Dutchman. I don't think I mentioned that kind of stuff enough. It's good to know. What? How do, how do the numbers range? Uh, zero, zero is the smallest or is there a double or a triple zero or something? I actually cannot answer that because I've been so stuck on what i buy that i actually don't look at the variety so ah. quite sure a scroller out on the chat can probably answer that better than i can if there are any scrollers out in the chat i'm quite sure there are at least one <laughs> we have a couple on the panel <laughs> you can go to wooden teddy bear.com or scroller online.com but i don't think scroll online sells scroll saw blades but wooden teddy bear or mike's workshop.com sells applying dutchman and they I know for a fact Mike'sWorkshop.com can show you uh, the different sizes. Wooden Teddy Bear, that's an interesting name. Yeah. I mean, that's, they also have a catalog, and I'm in there, by golly. I'm getting slowly phased out because there's a lot of good designers out there these days. They're not, like, intentionally phasing me out, but what sells, they keep. What doesn't, they don't. So, is it Wooden uh, Teddy Bear? Didn't they buy Mike's Workshop when he uh, retired? Passed away. No, actually... Well, he retired, and yes, Wooden Teddy Bear took over his thing, but I think his wife it's, still... still it's two uh, separate companies, though, as mm -hmm. far as going online. Well, Mike's Workshop, I believe, is Mike's wife running it oh, now. It? Mike Morlock passed after he retired, passed away, and uh, but the business portion was sold to Wooden Teddy Bear, but I guess they made some kind of arrangement where, since people knew to find Flying Dutchman, so Flying Dutchman blades at mikesworkshop.com. That's probably why they they keep both up. But I think it all comes from Wooden Teddy Bear. I do not know. I don't know any of this for a fact. But I know you can still get them from Wooden Teddy Bear. I posted uh, the URL for uh, Wooden Teddy Bear on there. All right. And then we got Mike's Workshop, and I believe that shows pictures. I don't know about Wooden Teddy Bear. I could be wrong. I'll post it also. Much obliged. Much obliged. Okay. Now, yeah, I, for some reason, it's not letting me do the Facebook uh, URLs, but it is letting me do just straight old. I guess I'll try taking the www off. Anyway, well, it could also be the length of the because Facebook links tend to be pretty long. But uh, I, I made a mistake here. I I did that straight line suggesting the edge of the bricks, and I meant to do another shutter over there. So I'll be editing that out. So. And then I can just do another three-sided rectangle here. Yeah. Well, and I also posted um, woodcraft.com blog, which has, I thought I did. Well, I guess it didn't. <laughs> yeah, it's up there. It. Yeah, it's up yeah, there. It doesn't yeah. post to the to the uh, article that I was, it was about, about blades. Sorry, folks. Mm. All right. Uh, the, the uh, you know, if you're wanting to, invent a shutter there or show it open as it's not to tell you where to stop this it's almost in line with that mortar line so that's how i know where to start their shutter besides the fact that it's right at the almost right at the top of that the straight line anyway but i'm just gonna i'm referring to this one so i know it'll be it won't look stupid mm. I just want to be careful about how wide I make it. But that's something you can edit if you so desire. Okay. Now, again, we're going to ignore this line. I'm actually going to squiggle through it so I don't add it to the final pattern. 
that's how I tell myself, edit that out later. Uh, but we also have shadows beneath the shutters, so I got to think of how to show that here. Hmm. Never mind. That's Every, we'll do it exactly like that side. Go ahead. Everybody's talking about wooden teddy bears in the in the chat, and I'm just. Uh, I remember the old days before wooden teddy bear was not. Nah, never mind. I'm not going to continue that joke. That's a really bad joke. Oh, but I the end. That. But the punchline is plastic tarantula. Oh. Hey, something wrong with you, baby. I don't know what it is. But some, okay, I just made that. Is, that is not a completely straight rectangle. So I'll be editing that. Sure looked straight. Okay, I'm just. I'm totally winging this uh, shutter here. I just think it would look funny. No, I think I made it look funny. Uh, I think it would look funny not having two shutters when everything else on this side of the building has two shutters, but that doesn't look right. But we could add all that panel crap in there later. Unless it's broken, it could actually be just aiming toward us. That's yeah, that's what I was saying earlier when I was doing this. Is you're looking at the oh, front, yeah. edge, gotcha. right, front edge of the shutter because I can see the hinges right there. Yeah. And I will do inside the windows as if those frames were white or those panes. or I think somebody told me the term for it, but like the little separation of the panes. I'm still going to do that inside those as if they were white and not dark like they there like they are there. But you could just get away with making that a complete cutout. But uh, if I hadn't already Chris done it, Nealon, oh, Chris Nealon said, "Charles, I'm back. Are you done yet?" Not even close. I guess I ran some folks off when I said this will be the final scheduled show because I don't think we've gotten much more than about 17 viewers. But uh, any any viewers are appreciated. Uh, We're at 15 right now, Charles. Oh, well, yep. at least that's what I'm showing. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm saying. Less. Let me let me let me refresh. But uh, yep. any any viewers are appreciated. Indeed. Uh, and you have more thumbs up than you do thumbs down. Yeah, I, before I even started the show, I had 12 thumbs down. That's, and I went and looked at my last two videos, the Willie Nelson one in the beginning of the slide house. Somebody purchased 100 thumbs downs again, so I'm over 200 thumbs downs. On, uh, oh, they purchased 200. So I'm over 200 thumbs down on both of those. And again, it's, it says more about them, but I just brought it up because, you know, I thought that trend had stopped, but apparently it did not. Hey, let them waste their money, Charles. Yep, that makes him look pretty stupid. You got a fan. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's the word I would use, but <laughs> I'm trying to stay family friendly. <laughs> well, I didn't say what they were fanatic about. <laughs> <laughs> the movie Fatal Attraction comes to mind, so I, I don't think... <laughs> if I find out who it is, it'll be fatal. I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm not a killer. Or am I? You're a lover. I'm a lover, not a fighter. But I love to fight. I'm just kidding. I'm trying to sound like an old Texan there. I'll tell you what. Okay. Now, we have the shadow of this, uh, the eaves. These are called eaves, correct? Yes. Okay. We have that shadow where we work around that shutter here. So I'm just going to bring that line part way down and not completely surround that shutter so it's not a floater. And if you're brand new to scrolling in patterns, a floater is something that's not connected to anything else when it's supposed to be kept in the design. So we have a bridge there and I believe a bridge here if I can see that correctly. And the, the uh, horizontal line going here suggests the shutter top. So I think we're okay. Uh, I go ahead and do that three-sided rectangle. I should be using a straight edge, but I'm not because I'm a rebel. And we, we can go in if we wanted to and just make those cut-out rectangles if you wanted to. I mean, that's probably easier than trying to cut that little, those three little bitty lines. But again, I'm a rebel. This shutter's slightly less open, so it's not shaped the same. Somebody's got throat groans just like I get. I was muted, so it wasn't me. <laughs> Almost sounds like a pigeon. Anyway, okay, th this could look all kinds of screwed up when we get to the, uh, whatchamacallit part. Okay, we got the windowsills 
or I, I would assume they're window sills. Yeah, they are. They're not completely straight, but I'm going to make them straight. And I'm only going to do those three sides because that came off the shutter. And we, we need something to hold on there. Yeah, the chat is talking about uh, the value of uh, replaceable tools versus high quality tools and, you know, that age old uh, discussion. Can they um, change? Well, yeah, Niantic, if you can afford it. Niantic, get... or as some other people call him, Nitanic, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> says, I don't like uh, buying tools that will need to be replaced. And I, I agree with him. Uh, I we don't, don't either, always have I, that option, but. <laughs> that I think that's the key for those people that get cheap tools and just go out and replace them with the same cheap tools because uh, money can be an issue. I know this for a fact. Anyway. Uh, and, and that depends too. There's some cheap tools that are good, and then there's some cheap tools. Yeah. That, so. Well, yeah, and, it, and and people's definition of good can vary also. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it does it does pay. Sometimes uh, you really have to research uh, longevity and time. Uh, uh, something something as simple as uh, like I'm a, I'm a I'm a painting contractor. Something like uh, as simple as paint choices. I can buy paint for nine dollars a gallon. I can buy paint for uh, thirty five dollars a gallon. High end paint at my contractor's prices. The thirty five dollar a gallon paint will save me hundreds of dollars in employee costs because you have to do two coats or one coat as opposed to five coats for the nine dollar paint. Very good point. And uh, yeah, that that that's that's true because. Not in every case, but in a lot of cases, sometimes you're paying for the brand, but sometimes that brand, like what uh, you would know better than I would, Glidden and uh, Sherwin Williams, you know, stuff like that, you're getting a higher oh, quality. Those are two brands that are rarely in the same sentence. That's funny. Sorry, uh, there's uh, Sher what Sherwin Williams, and there's another one, BE8, HR, Bear. Yeah, Benjamin Moore. Uh, bear, the high end bears. Yeah, I've, I've used high-end bear uh, gloss black, and it looked, even years later, it looked like it was still glossy. And yeah, because the low-end bears are like the Valspar, the Glidens, or the Walmart paints. It's just uh, not something that I'd, that I'd uh, stake my reputation on. Yeah, I, I, I had good luck with them, but I don't do a heck of a lot of painting. I like the way things look, look when they're done being painted, but the process of painting can be kind of boring, but the most of the work as you would know is the masking off and prepping for the paint unless you know i mean I, I, all i do is brush and roller paint i don't have access to uh what you call it the i totally forgot what it was called because i had to think of it. Oh, it's just i have yeah, another opportunity <laughs> i got an upper another opportunity to mispronounce a word so i'm not going to let it go uh florence leady was saying uh uh Got something for four ninety nine with a stand from Rock Lear. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, uh, this is the roof line. Yeah, yeah, my uh, no, the, th I'm sorry. D wall. She said her D wall. Oh, Got it. Four ninety nine. I th I think uh, this is flashing just up under there because I don't see any mortar lines, but I'm gonna ignore that because I don't want it to connect to the thing. So I'm just gonna do the actual roof line where it meets the house. Well, if the house is flashing, don't let the kids see it. Googly moogly. We got comedy that isn't, doesn't necessarily always win, but it, it's comedy. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, house, house, is house is fashion. Bad jokes are flowing tonight. No, and free, so, too. And free. Another example of getting what you pay for. <laughs> <laughs> now that rope is slightly bowed, but I'm not going to bow it. And again, I'm leaving out this this downspout, and I can't even tell you why. I just think it would look funny. Now, there's a bush. There is see my the base of my dang uh, monitor. I guess if I moved it back a little bit, uh, it's keeping me from getting everything on screen here. Uh, there is a bush up against there, so I will use that. Just well, I don't have to. Dang it. Okay, do I keep the bush or do I get rid of the bush? Don't go there. I'm talking about plants. Set it on fire. Because <laughs> I know somebody. I know somebody in the chat went there. 
I would think it'd be easier to leave it out because does it really add anything to the windmill? I mean, to yeah, the, and it White would be House? the only it it would add be... anything to the windmill, um, but uh, to the White House, I mean, uh, and it, it would also windmill. I kept calling it a, a a castle on the first time I did this, but also that's the only piece of uh, landscaping that would be in the whole picture. And I just realized if you'll look right here, wait, let me get it on screen. The arch bricks are there, and I forgot to add those in, but luckily that isn't high tech stuff. So I'll remind y'all remind me when I'm doing the computer portion to put the arch bricks in there. Charles, when you're doing the computer portion, put the arch bricks in there. Much obliged, homie. Okay. I was going to initially ignore this shadow here, but let's be consistent with the, the photograph. Now it's coming across that little trim piece. So it is gonna have a slight Uh, never mind, it's not that that noticeable, but I am going to suggest that trim piece. And I'll have to say it this way, Lordy. Alrighty then. Y'all, y'all are smoking something today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, although this shadow is going across bricks, I'm just going to be—I'm not going to use a straight edge, but I'm still going to try to keep it somewhat straight. And this will be quite a large cutout because it's coming from over here to over here to all the way across. I think I'm just getting lazy to take it in mind. We're not using that downspout where the shadow goes around it. So I'm just going to act like it's not even there. And the edge of the house is right behind this pole. So. That's where I'm going to stop with the shadow. Now, the reason why it's thinner on this end than this end is this is closer to you. That's called perspective at or foreshortening. Things that are closer to you are going to look bigger. So that's why it's wider on this end than this end. That that ex, that that gives me a great excuse. <laughs> Got hobby. <laughs> uh, I really need to start. Uh, screening panel. I'm just kidding. Kidding. Adios, mijo. Adios, mijo. Who's leaving, Beto? Me. <laughs> oh, thank you for being here. Uh, 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 whatever your name, name is, Paul. Paul. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, my brain's not working. I uh, appreciate you being here, Paul, and having so often been a panel member. Okay, and, well. And behaving better than these two. <laughs> have, you noticed, have, you, have you noticed though that that Paul and and don't take this uh, personally that that Charles uses uh, panel members with with four letters in it or less, you know? He uh, does, does he? <laughs> yeah. Javi, Paul, Lee, three, Al, two. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Y'all are stretching for something to talk about now. <laughs> I don't know. I was going with that, but. It, that was a that was a, a very uh, uh, acute observation. Yeah, well, I was hoping somebody else would pick it up and run with it. But. I don't think it was all that cute, but I know you meant uh, acute AC. You that's did. what I meant. I know I was trying to be funny. That's and right. It didn't work. No, okay. that's right. Everybody oh. considers the source for all of us, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to suggest the front edge. Don't worry, uh, Al. I'm I'm still I'm still trying to find a. A witty rejoiner for that, but uh, I'll, I'll I'll pick up the ball in a second. Okay. Well, well I thought I got complaints before. I guarantee somebody's gonna say, "What was all the stupid?" <laughs> oh, Why well, is everybody okay. counting letters today? I don't know. <laughs> We're reaching here. Oh, okay. I haven't seen. Being that I'm not using the downspout, I can still see the the corner edge, just to the left of that. I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but you can sort of tell the lighting change. So I'm gonna put a line down there. So that we'll know this is not a rounded house or lighthouse. Okay. And we're going to do the shutters over here in the window sill, and then we'll do all three windows. And by God, I think we're done with, except for maybe throwing bricks in there, but I don't think I'll do that live on the show because we're already down to 14 viewers and I've been doing this a little over an hour. Uh, go ahead. I heard you breathe. Why don't you draw a little chamber pot 
barely visible inside the outhouse or inside that garage door there. <laughs> He's so crazy. <laughs> Pretty sure that's just a little like a generator room or some kind of something. Mm. You I could turn it into an outhouse, put a little put a little mm. on it, you know. Mm. Just throw it right in there, by yeah. God. Possibly the housekeeper's knees just showing. Slightly. Oh, good God on a st Oh, okay, never mind. That's not what I thought you were doing. Okay. <laughs> no. Sorry. Okay, I thought you were totally going the wrong direction here. Okay. No, no, no. no. Everybody's got to sure go. Everybody realizes that they can take any drawing like that and add anything to it. I mean, you know, you, whatever, right? Yeah, whatever. I, it, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Okay. Yes, for those of you purchasing Charles's drawing of the uh, white uh, lighthouse, I would love to see a uh, outhouse version. An outhouse version. Yeah, yeah, the, the outhouse rendition. That works. That actually reminds me, or gives me an idea, because I like doing rustic and western stuff. So I might have a pattern of a rustic outhouse at some point. Charles, here's here's a contest. Oh God! Do a pattern or or suggest a pattern and and uh, have people alter it like say this one and then alter it and then cut it and then judge it no, that'd be a, that'd be a great contest i'd something, uh, something yeah like that i'd figure out somewhere where my scroll saw is buried and actually start scrolling for that one there you go. i guarantee you uh well we got to give credit where credit is due only katie can put the cow in this guy well i mean that's yeah yeah well, yeah. or or on the roof, however you want to do it. Well, no, the cow has to have wings. Well, yeah, but a winged thing could still be sitting down. They don't fly forever. <laughs> well, they are when they're pooping. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, I'm I'm going to real quickly, uh, as quickly as I can, do the pains. You know what? I can do that on the computer portion. So we're going to do those uh, three windows. We're going to do the pain portions. Uh, on the computer program, but I still got to tell myself where the edge is. And, this and is only... that, um, Steve just said that he would yep. be a, uh, a, sponsor. a sponsor for that contest. For <laughs> that outhouse contest. And that's Steve Nealon from Harneal Media. Whenever you need a website for make specifically for makers, see Steve Nealon. Well, he specializes in makers, but he does outside of makers, but he specializes in makers. Yep. Thank you for that uh, plug. Plug, thank you. Yeah. Okay, I think we are I done. If we're not, I will figure it out as soon as I'm done here. Uh, no, I'm not done. I have one more line to make, and that is that is right here. And I think it would be really cool. Really, really cool. What uh, an, an outhouse? No, well, this simple pattern. You put out the original, and then and then and then judge whatever comes back. However, it comes back. Um, you know, photograph of it, I guess, would be would be well, decent. Except I suck at getting. Uh, I wouldn't be able to get any prizes except for my own patterns. I've never yeah. been able to get anybody to give me prizes for anything. Well, well, <laughs> you've already got you've already got her, Neil, uh, Steve, uh, and and then yourself. I mean, I don't know. Um, I might think of something and add something to the pie. I just don't know what to add. I mean, but. <laughs> okay, I'm going uh, to take this off and it'd be a, a quick reveal, which would not be stellar because, you know, you saw how simple the other half looked, but I'm trying to hurry because I'm going to do the computer portion. The computer portion does not last as long as the drawing portion, but the, it depends on how sloppy I did things as to how long that takes. Uh, we're down to 12 viewers. Oh, Lord, they're driving like flies. Stuff happens. Stuff happens. Okay. Well, if I forgot anything, I'm screwed now because I just wrinkled up the paper and I had to print it out again. But Oh, well. Put the tape off there. You could you could pull it back out and iron it out and flatten it out. <laughs> That's a lot of work for nothing. <laughs> And what you do is you pull the paper back out. If it's wrinkled, just use like a credit card. But make sure you do it right on top of the carbon paper. I just noticed an, a line I didn't connect. But let's wait. Uh, I want to make sure. 
Here's Mr. a novel Green. idea. Let's use a pencil. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know if I forgot it or not. It depends on what the other app looks like when I scan them both in. But that's a nice thing when you do scan it back in. If you did miss a line, boom, the line can go on there really, really easily. So that's what that looks like. I remember I'll be doing the windows inside of the. Yep. With the uh, what you call it? Okay. Scan. Definitely, definitely. Okay, I'm gonna stop yeah. presenting, and then I will uh, now. Unfortunately, everybody has to see the panel. I'm just kidding. I'm going to screen share so I can. Uh, and sorry, Charles. I have to say this: the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Rick now I've got that tune floating around in my Gerald. head. Make room for hobby. Now, nope, still hadn't gotten rid of it. Can't get rid of that darn tune. Okay, I'm. <laughs> Which one? Make room for hobby? Yeah. <laughs> I had it in my head for two weeks, two and a half weeks. It's been driving me crazy. Not even Dora the Explorer will get it out of my head. Okay, now that I'm done with the uh, webcam, I can move it up out of my way. I'm going to. What you're saying right there is my latest pattern. I'm standing up right now to scan in both halves of this lighthouse. And, uh, yeah, that's my latest design there. That's specifically Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott, but you can make it anybody you want by changing the logo on the helmet and the numbers on the jersey. Oh. That's not available yet because I just finished it right before the show. That's why the show was a couple minutes late. <laughs> Oh, it's not the Whistler's mother, it's Mother Whistler's. Okay, uh, I'll be quiet. Uh-huh. Y'all are so grounded. <laughs> Lee's, Lee's the uh, instigator. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was thinking, wow, Lee's being the only one being quiet, but is he? Yeah, I will. <laughs> you're, is not, he doing... you're not watching the chat. No, he's he's uh, planning everything from behind yeah. the scenes. Uh huh. Every bad joke, every comment that I have made this evening was instigated by Lee. That's right. All my bad jokes were instigated by Lee. Yep. Lord, I'm definitely going to get a flood of complaints. Anyway, he. Uh, I'm, I, I forgot to explain how I have my scanner set and why I have it set that way. If you didn't see the Willie Nelson show, I'll explain it very quickly. Or not the show with Willie Nelson. It was a Willie Nelson pattern thingy. Anyway. Uh, I say leave that big X in the middle of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember why I showed that. I think it was talking about intersecting lines and how you'd have floaters. Okay. I do my 300 DPI. I believe that stands for dots per inch. I, I might be wrong. Correct. Uh, Grayscale, and this is the settings I do for patterns. There is a specific reason why I don't have it at zero on the brightness, because you want an off-white version, and that will explain itself. If you've never seen that, you will you will see uh, during my cleanup process why I have that off-white, or not, not normal. Anyway. This part will go much quicker than, than uh, the drawing part, if anybody's losing patience. Okay. None of us are doctors. How can we be losing patience? Uh, you know, I was going to go there, and I opted against it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh -huh. I'm, I stand with my decision. Y'all y'all are some <laughs> good lord. Heck of a finale. Yeah, I need to ask you guys, what's the drinking word tonight? Oh, that would be um, well, Corbell or Corbel, and uh, <laughs> what was the other one? Uh, or poop? No, well, that's a good one too. But uh, I don't know, I, I'm trying to it's scroll back. Oh, uh, the tarragon, right? Wasn't it? Wasn't it Petra? But tarragon, ter pterodon? I can't even say it right. Pterodactyl, but pterodactyl. No. How about to say? I think he's trying to say pterodactyl, but it was really no, hard. No, I'm to tell. the the word that's like corbel, the uh, that thing that sticks out. Corbel. No, I was corbel, but uh... horrible corbel. Oh, good God, you got me started. Okay. Now, uh, I have to somewhat stay on topic here because explain what I'm doing. Hey, uh, I'm creating a window that combines both of these, and you 
you can't see it right now but where my cursor is you can see the width first and then the and then the height this 2550 and we know it's going to be double the width at least or at most uh but since some of this doesn't go off the edge it's going to be 5100 by 3507 and the program I'm using is PaintShop Pro 4. It's no longer made, but I'm just informing you what I'm doing. Downspout was the other word, but we were using that a lot earlier. Or bird poopy. <laughs> <laughs> that came to my mind. I'm like, we used a lot of words, and that was one of them, truly. Yeah, bird poop and uh, and and cow. That would be a good good drinking word for tonight. I think. The bad joke should be reason enough for people to be drinking tonight. So, so far, I've heard like five different words. I think y'all just want to be able to drink. So just go oh, for absolutely. it. Absolutely. And uh, by the way, folks, we in no way, shape, or form endorse uh, inebriated drinking or or operating tools or <laughs> bad operating jokes. tools. You always use the safety. Yes, all that good rock. I drink a heck of a lot. Man. And that's I what drink I a lot of Dr. Pepper, but that's pretty <laughs> much it. We know that doorknob goes on the door. Have, I have my tea glass right here. Tea. Tea. You should have Al for tea. Oh, I have my tea glass right here. Uh, now I see what you're doing. Okay. Let me. <laughs> Ron Ed, Norris says, what's, what's the point? Of course, we're here to drink. The only thing good about tea is that you need it to spell diet. Right. In Diet Coke. You all really have some issues going on here. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Take control, Charles. Come on, take it back. Yeah, I, I've, I've given up trying to take control, but I'm going to, I am going to crop this and just call it LH2. Because if you saw the other one I offered, if you didn't, that's on you because it proves who views and who doesn't. <laughs> Because some people got a free lighthouse pattern over the last week. About three people. Oh, what the hell just happened? I thought I closed it out. Oh, Lord. That scared me. Okay, now that I've cropped it, I can get rid of all that. And we're going to go ahead and name this. LH2. Okay. Again, this is a program that's not out there anymore unless you got some special source. It's a very old program or old version of PaintShop Pro, but uh, this right here is a color replacer. We'll be using that a lot because if you zoom in, it's, you know, not one shade. So over here on the right, I'm picking the color I want it to be. And that's done with the left mouse button. And. I want to make it all the same shade of gray, so I'm looking for one of the darkest grays. If you want to be as good as Charles for uh, designing scroll saw patterns, you're going to have to get yourself a uh, 1980s computer with Windows 3.1 on it. <laughs> uh, okay, now, since I'm uh, switching from a darker color to a lighter color to make it all the same thing, uh, the, the tolerance on the thing is going to be uh, pretty high when you're doing to a lighter color. Never mind. I'm going to confuse myself and y'all. So I'm going to sweep across here, and then, as you can see, it's turning all the grays the same shade. And as you can see, compared to most of my patterns, this one's pretty darn simple. But you wouldn't know it. But this uh, gives you an idea of how long patterns take me to do. And it's not usually because of bad jokes going in my ear. <laughs> but even something this simple, you've seen how long it takes. The first half took, I think, two hours. And however long this one's been going, close to an hour and a half, I think. And no bird poop on the roof. No, we had to leave that out. <laughs> if I had time to kill, I probably would have drawn a cow in the sky just to be funny. But mm -hmm. it is eight fifty four. Yes, sir. Uh, central, anyway. Okay. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to show you why we had... And I know there's going to be a lot of breaks in this because I looked at it. You can already see one right here. Uh, where was it? Right there. So I might as well fix that while I can see it. 
I know there's going to be more, but I'll come back to them. I know those windows are very sloppy because I just threw those in, but this is why we did the off-white color because anything that stays off-white means there's not a break in the line. See, I got a bunch of breaks. That's that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah. A lot of that's good, but we have that big old shadow. There's a break somewhere in that line or more than one, and that's why. So that is why we, we don't do the scanner with a zero brightness and zero contrast. We have a negative 30 contrast. It might vary between scanners, but I don't know. And I can see how very sloppy some of this is, but I'm just going to very quickly, or as quickly as I can, clean that up. Or make, make the areas thicker. The white areas are what we're keeping and they will represent wood, you will be cutting out the dark on this design. Now, sometimes I'm pickier than I need to be, and sometimes I'm not as picky as I should be. <laughs> yeah, look at the panel. What do you mean, look at the panel? Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, I got you there. <laughs> and I'm speaking for myself, of course. But of course. Here I was thinking Lee was behaving himself, but according to you, he's causing trouble out in the dang chat. I don't know. Somebody said, I mean, he said perfect season and, uh, you know, Miami, 1972. Sorry. I thought it was 74. I, mean, I guess it was because I was in like sixth grade. Actually, I was being facetious. Uh, we're having a Cleveland Browns parade for being 0-16. Wow. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the coach, coach, if it was going to be one in fifteen, he was going to jump in Lake Erie or somewhere, not Lake Erie. I don't. He was going to jump somewhere, but I had to make a break in here because uh, the, where the rails were overlapping, I forgot to make a break in there before. It's not one hundred percent pretty. I don't even know what this crap is, so I'm going to get rid of it. I probably knew when I drew it what it was. That's a rough season. <laughs> yes, and the Detroit Lions used to be that team that did that. I thought I had more breaks in the windows, but it's definitely sloppy. But uh, Oh, Ron went there. Draft Johnny football again. No, big Johnny mistake. Manziel, I don't think so. Although we were winning when we had him. We went backwards. What's a Johnny football? Uh, Johnny Manziel, he was one of the worst draft. Uh, he, he was an idiot. He didn't take the NFL seriously and arrogant and blah, blah, bull crap. He was just, if you're into football, uh, yeah, I guess you're probably not. Well, but. let's, let's, let's put it this way. Now I know how other people's eyes is eyes glaze over when I talk about Star Trek or Dr. Who. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I'm the same way. I, I apologize <laughs> if I glaze people's eyes over. Or C&C. Yeah. Yeah. See what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> or C&C, yeah. Somebody else talks about... Uh, somebody Somebody talks about uh, football just in my ear. All I hear is... Bee! I don't know. Just... Same with golf. Uh, now, I, I don't really have to talk a whole lot. I'm just cleaning up lines, straightening them, or, or getting rid of stuff that doesn't need to be there and, and making sure I'm covering the brakes. Go ahead. And you're filling in the places where you want to cut it out. Yes, sir. Uh, I do that usually right after I fix all the breaks, the breaks in the lines, uh, because I don't want to forget to. Now, these. Uh, Charles, you, you get all the breaks. No, I hear you. Yeah, no, yes. Louder. Chris, I saw it in the movie theater while I was in Lakeland. It was very good. Now, I told you all, uh, I, I forget. Oh, when I make lines through stuff, it's telling me when in the, in the editing process to get rid of that part. So that's why those two lines are right there. Yeah, I've seen it as well. I uh, three times so far. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking sure. forward to the next season. Now, for people, yeah, that's something. Months, see, that's something that Doctor Who and football fans can say. At this, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she I'm is looking, looking forward to the next season. She is looking forward to the next season, isn't she? Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Lordy. <clears throat> now, anybody watching the show when it's not live has no clue what y'all are talking about, but it's not related to 
Well, look how off square that looks. That looks weird. An idiot does that. So I'm just going to do it with the rectangle tool. It, it's Well, it almost is square. So it's, maybe it's this line that's not square. I'm going to have you do a special request. I'm going to get a picture of some sort. A con uh, um, I, I'm going to compile some kind of picture in Photoshop and do and have a special request for you, Charles, to create a Doctor Who themed scroll thing, and then we'll have a Doctor Who conversation throughout your whole show. Man, that'd be awesome. Please invite me to that panel. Right? Yes, exactly. I'm, I'm all good with from... it. Okay, I, I, that was where the part that wasn't square. You know, Hobby, you just mm -hmm. gave me a really, really good idea. If, if I ever stream, I think I'll, I'll do theme stuff like that. Thank you very much, Bob. You're way. very welcome. That's that's a, that's a really good idea. Oh. Lord, Lord, Lord. Okay, so checking for more breaks. There's another one. Now the things that are inside there don't 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 bother me because they are going to be hidden when it's colored in. So that's why I'm not worrying about what's in there. And I know the windows look really sloppy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I apologize to anybody watching that is turned off by the corny jokes and stuff, but there are worse problems in the world. Okay. <laughs> and there's one more little bitty break. I apologize to anybody watching that is turned off by the corny joke. That's the heck of a time for somebody to forget to unmute or mute, whatever. Sorry. Yeah. I, I, it wasn't <laughs> going, and I, and I got it going to live. It was paused. And well, it just reiterated my apology, so it makes me feel yes, good. Yes, I was going, wait a second, Charles, <laughs> you just said that. Oops. Let me reiterate <laughs> the reiteration. Uh, he apologizes for those of you not enjoying the Ladies corny jokes. Ladies and gentlemen, the apologies have been reiterated for your viewing pleasure. Well, the the uh, off topicness of those corny jokes. Now, I would like to apologize for the previous apologies. Oh, please! And now for something completely different. Oh, A man okay. with three buttocks. I'm totally going to get some hate mail. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Conway Twitty. Or Monty Python lovers. Lord Jesus, help me. Lord Jesus, help me. <laughs> okay, come on now. <laughs> Good Lord, give me an inch. <laughs> oh. He was. A meme that I saw, and I can't really explain it too well. A meme, yeah, I guess I could. A meme that I saw on, I don't know, it was a Discord meme or something like that. But uh, this this person is is sitting, and somebody comes up to him <clears throat> and puts his hands around his face and says, "Guess who?" And the guy says, "Jesus." Anyway, it it, it it's a little bit funnier when you see it in the meme. Okay, that uh, the fact that it just turned gray tells me I I still have a break in that line, so it, that's why I have to zoom in closer and pay more attention, but maybe it's because <laughs> I was trying to wrangle in all these people. <laughs> Dave. Dave, Dave just asked why you have a panel. <laughs> why you have a panel? <laughs> Thanks, Dave. I feel a little what, what did he say? Why do you have a panel? Yep. Yes. Yeah. I'll, he wouldn't be the first that said that, no offense. We're all mad. Mad, I tell you. <laughs> hey, maybe we're... Lord, help me. I thought he said, D why do you have a paddle? I thought I was getting in trouble. I need something. a paddle. I flashed back to 72 or 74 when the Dolphins were winning. We used to get thrown, we literally, no not thrown, into, into, the, into the, the, the shed where the basketballs were, where the, where the balls were in... in uh, uh, gym class and we got the paddle you know that's when they had to yep it's it's funny you say that i had a um i was part of a networking group some time ago where we inducted new members and it was always a long running joke 
Thank you. Congratulations. You're 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 one of us now. Somebody get the paddle. I mean, whoever was president would always say, somebody get the paddle. So one week I decided, since I owned a sign shop at the time, I would get a, a small oar and I engraved the the name of the of the organization, but backwards on the paddle for uh, obvious reasons. Uh, the imprint would be felt and uh, I brought it in uh, that day. So, so when they said, somebody get the paddle, I walked right up and all of a sudden everybody started laughing. And then when he said, when, when the guy said, why is this backwards? Everybody got the joke and they all laughed again. It was, uh, you had to be there. Uh -huh. Okay. We finally got that shit up. Uh, I'm going to use a color replacer again. Sorry for staying on topic. Um, color replacer in the off white area with the right mouse button and we want it to be the gray color and we're going to do a much lighter colorance because it's a lighter color and I'm going to sweep across. This will make most of it pop besides the fact that it's sloppy. We haven't been on topic and there's 18 viewers now. Well, that, that, somebody probably said, Hey man, go check out this train wreck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly right. Why do you think we're, uh, we're wrecking your train? And I thought I had a lot of thumbs down the last two videos. Check out this one. Uh, just kidding. Uh, okay, I'm going to get rid of little specs because uh, they annoy me. Ones I can see. Uh, the windows will probably be the most sloppy because, you know, I rush those. So I'm actually going to do myself a favor. There's three there, one down. Okay. I am actually going to make one big rectangle and that way we can just be consistent on the the panes. Da, 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 da. And I'll just redraw in the panes there. Oops. Lee, can you mute yourself? I only know it's you because of the clicks. <laughs> Okay. And the paints by hand so they look more uniform and not so bloody sloppy. Uh, I say by hand, but I'm doing it with the computer and I made the line th thickness 10, double the thickness I've been doing. That's too thick. No, I did 20. No wonder. Katie's suggesting that every time we go off topic that we uh... get jolted. Yep, I'm telling you. That'll, that'll certainly put us into the inebriated category. Well, no, not take a drink. I was thinking electrocution, but dang it. Well, I'm, try I'm trying to th make this line be straight, but it's hard to tell because I can't see through the color. Dang, blat it. Like a dang beer commercial. I don't know what a what, wonderful sound. Look out for the bull just kind of came to mind, you know, the, the <laughs> no. Schlitz malt liquor bull. It just uh, the Schlitz Diet Coke bull. Yeah, yeah. Folks, I am so sorry. <laughs> okay, I think I'm in the middle. That's close enough. I don't give a crap. Okay. There was three horizontal panes, so that looks to be about the middle. If not, there's worse problems to have. So this, so this, if you're worried about, you know, the windows looking realistic, that's one way to do it because that looks a lot better than that. <clears throat> and we'll do the same thing for this one. And that's how we'll do the ones that. That uh, I said I would draw on the computer. Dag blab it, not white. And again, I apologize for anybody that might be annoyed by the epic top and this and weird, 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 weird jokes. Okay, there's only going to be two horizontal ones. I'm making notes before I turn this into a rectangle. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for the apologies.
Now the upper part of this vertical line goes into the shadow is why. It, this could be, well, I, I was going to say it could be brittle, but it won't be because we'll have the horizontal pieces going through after I square up the edge of this window or what you call it. Yeah, it is a window. Give myself some credit here. Anyway. And remember I said there was going to be two horizontal pieces, so I think right about there looks good. Doesn't have to be perfect unless you're trying to be perfect. So this can be slightly brittle, but there's, you know, what, what can you do? Eh? Same on this one. For those of you watching, there is only one hour and 50 minutes, uh, one hour and 49 minutes left till the end of the show. <laughs> well, that's because I over, it doesn't just go off the air. It, I, I just gave it an estimation that it could take potentially two hours and hopefully not. But although we're headed there, so never mind. Close enough. Trying to keep in line with that one. I don't think I did that. Oh, wrong color. Is it time for a nutty bar yet? <laughs> Sounds like we've been sitting at the nutty bar. <laughs> That was good. That was very good. That was actually hilariously funny. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I don't remember if that was supposed to be colored in or not, and I don't have my source photo here. So we'll just leave it as is. Now you see the windows look much better than they did, at least over here. And we're going to very quickly, I'm going to have to sort of hand draw these, but it won't be terrible. And all these specs I would ordinarily clean out, but I don't want to waste time. So I'm going to do these with straight lines. Straight-ish. You have to create a gap in the uh, in that in that in that white now. I mean, in that black. Yes, but right now I'm just drawing the rectangle to do the windows, and then I will be fixing that. Gotcha. Holy crap! That was not that was an on-topic question. I was totally not prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have questions occasionally. <laughs> it would be good if you did shutter the other one too. Yeah, uh, so it looks at least similar. I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Oh, oh you mean the, the, the rectangles? The, yeah, the left sh shutter. But I guess you could, you could, you could uh, select the two elements on the right shutter, copy them, and then paste them. No, because they're I'm just both. Saying, I, I get your point, but they're both yeah. sloppy, and to me, the yeah. I feel like I've already taken too long. And yeah, and actually, what you're doing, yeah, you're 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 drawing that 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 works also. But sometimes you don't have to recreate everything; you can just copy and paste, and nobody's going to know the difference. Absolutely, and there's a reason why I made these enclosed rectangles. It just it's only because I'm doing the. Uh, the windows the same way I just did the other ones and then I'll it'll it'll make its own floater or uh, bridges and you'll see that as we go so for now I just need to color these in whoops there's a break in the line somebody probably already saw that but couldn't tell me because anyway so yeah that's color that in choose I'm gonna go slightly no, let's go and do the same thickness. Ten, ten. One down the middle, three across. Close now. Go ahead. That that one right there, uh, where you're at right now, Charles. Um, I, I don't know. The, the The shutter holes look a little close to to the the cutout part of the glass. The one on the right hand side. All right here. Yeah. Uh, no, no. To the left a little bit. To the left a bit. In in the right shutter. Yeah. Right. Right there. Those right there. They look really close to to that. Oh, they probably are. I, that's why I'm debating whether or not I should even have those in there. But uh, specifically on the right hand side. 
because obviously if it's too close then then it'll be real brittle and extremely brittle so that's why i'm sort of uh yeah. changing things as i sort of changing things as i go okay so that we're good in there the, the the pains themselves could be a little bit brittle but yes i need to well let's first let me first do the uh what you call it and that's the fancy name for it is what you call it now explain explain what you just did right there you changed the color of the line and you put a thicker line is that what you did you flipped you flipped the color uh you lost me uh you okay. just trying to I figure changed, out oh i the number i put in at the top i was making the line thicker because okay. these lines are about five pixels wide but in order to make the panes not completely gotcha. brittle i wanted to make them thicker gotcha. uh and now i'm trying to fix i didn't realize that was a width Okay, I'm gonna make this a little thicker over here, or thinner. We'll make the white part thicker. I don't know what it is with Google. I just got a notification that uh, that you're live, Charles. Well, that's a fine. How do you do it? <laughs> Glad I didn't miss it. I haven't got any notifications. So. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't miss it. Give it another half hour. I didn't even get a notification. I'm kidding. Uh, now I'm going to. And all this time we were blaming Charles for starting late. Uh huh. Well, at least I didn't start 30 minutes early like I did last. Oh, yeah. right, couple. Yeah. That's really what I meant. Sorry. I'm too lazy to redraw them, so I'm just moving them over. Yeah. Yeah. And that's exactly what I was. Uh, and, uh, you know, suggesting that you do. Yeah, cool, cool. So I would have done the same thing you did. I feel good. Awesome, awesome. Okay, this this side's a little cocky. Anyone still out there, or did everybody fall asleep already? Mm. Looks like 16's still out there sleeping. I mean, uh, out there. They could have just gotten locked in there. And Jim Bashir says notifications. <laughs> yeah, want my a little Google notification. We all live in a yellow lighthouse, a yellow lighthouse. I'm just going up the chat, so it's part of the... Yeah, Katie's, yeah. Katie's still there. Yep. She's probably about to fall over from rolling her eyes so much. Ken McQuarrie is here. Mr. Gatton is zing. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's sleeping. Don't bother him. How many thumbs downs are we up to? Hey, Dave, uh, 14. Hey, Dave, uh, you know, CPAP machine works real well for that unsightly snoring. Well, those are some really ugly shutters right here. Wow, that's just nasty. Anyway. Could you could you maybe copy the, the ones from the top down and you wouldn't have to reproduce them and pop them in place and say, hey, looky here. I probably could, but uh, I don't know if the proportions would be the same, so I may just rough it. I guess. Let's see. Dave's not here, dude. Katie. Javi, did you mean to mute Charles? No. I think you did. No, no, he's, well, no, he. I think he muted himself. I can't mute, well, I guess I could, but I don't have that thing open. I saw a notification, that, that and I thought it said you. I, I'm not saying you did, I just. I don't know how the hell that happened. <laughs> how long has that been muted? <clears throat> to a couple seconds, uh, but I have no idea. That is, okay. I think somebody's messing with me. One of y'all did it because it can't do I it. I blame Javi. I did. Seriously, I saw in the inside chat a notification. I, I clicked on his panel because uh, my mouse was moving. Hey, I know what happened. I think I was typing a message on the, um, on the chat, and uh, I didn't have the chat selected. So whatever keystrokes I did just happened to do that. Uh-huh. I got to mark those keystrokes down. 
Am I am I still here? I mean, yes, audio. Yes, you okay, are. you are. And and we're distracting you. Not really. I just. Oh, we'll try to do a better job. <laughs> I've actually gotten good at tuning y'all out. No offense. That's a hell of a. How do you do to your friends? Yeah. Anyway. Okay, I'm gonna do the pains on this one. What a pain! Oh, oh that's one pain. Two pains. Actually, four. Six pains. Six. Eight. Now, that's not the prettiest window in the world, but folks, that is pretty much. That is. Those pains look like they're such a pain, Charles. Oh God! This show is brought to you by the number eight. And it does look like that end of the house because the tree was there. I don't remember what was behind it, but it looks like it could use another window if you were to copy and paste that window over there. So I want you to copy and paste something, Charles. Yeah, stick a window on the chimney. Just like <laughs> I, I got to fix something I noticed. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Stick a window on the chimney, y'all are goobers. <laughs> uh, where was I at? What did I notice? Oh, I had to connect that to that. Now these, uh, I'm gonna do image special filters. Be speckle, and that should get a get rid of the most of those specks that were just laying there. And this line is totally not straight, so I shall fix that. I used to have freckles as a kid. I wonder who would speckled me. Oh, hobby. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing this is my final scheduled show my god i'm probably losing every viewer. oh yeah i'm going all out on this one <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord okay now obviously since we've been going a while let's say as detail okay y'all didn't remind me and y'all were supposed to y'all are punished uh remember to put those little bricks over the uh outdoor bottom <laughs> things <laughs> Just saying, Charles. Well, better late than never. What can you do? <laughs> eh. Okay, I gotta. I'm being picky, and I want this one to look more consistent. Not before I put a big point in the top of it. Not perfect, but it'll work. And I can't copy and paste because nothing's at the same angle as these. But that is okay. Well, you. Well, yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Gonna you want me to copy one. and paste something, Al? Yes. I yes. want to make these the same size because they look like two different. It does. It does, definitely. Oh, crap. What did I just... Oh, that was a save. My mouse button hit my ashtray. Edit, copy. Luckily, it was just saying it, saving it. Edit, paste. This new selection. No, I don't want to delete it or I would have hit delete. <laughs> you were gonna tell me you paste it right well, there. no no what i was gonna say is it's a little farther should be a little smaller but oh you're no, I, actually yeah. you're right because that looks like it's sticking up more dang nib it sorry yeah it's not you're not the only one with ocd around here <laughs> oh, why don't i just do it by hand uh or by line could you could you scale that, Charles? Could you scale that that particular yeah, image? I could. Or, I don't particularly know how. Or cut it. Well, yeah, I could cut it correctly, or, but yeah, right. I mean, like you like you just did, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Al likes it. We got we got certif uh, certified Al. Well, if it's Al approved, then we're good. <laughs> okay. <I> <laughs> okay. Now, because of the way the sun's going, I'm not even going to mess with. It. Well, I probably should, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to do the arches, not that little shadow. And I'll think we'll find out here shortly. You can just copy that whole arch with the shadow on there and see. Well, if it, it wouldn't be at the same angle because that's on one surface, and this one's at a slight angle from that one. See, like this one's going here, yeah, right? and this one's going here. So that's not a straight line, so we can't use it. We can't rotate and stretch. Well, I probably could, but it's just quicker to draw them in there. Yeah, that's true. I'm deciding, deciding whether or not to do that shadow, and I probably should. You could copy and paste it. Nope, it's not the same angle, like I just pointed out. And suddenly I turned Australian. <laughs> the Al's approvals, stamp of approval. 
I butchered that one up. This ain't sexy, but it'll work. That's kind of what my wife said the day we got married. You beat me to it. <laughs> oh my God knows somebody's going there. It ain't sexy, but it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just going to very sloppily copy. And it sloppily copy. copy? Yep. Paste as transparent selection. <sighs> yeah, that's a good idea, Al. What Katie just suggested. What, keeping you all off the panel? No, yeah. get some Al approved stickers. There you go. Okay, there we go. Al maybe, we'll, maybe we'll do that. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad idea. We'll do a. Uh, God yeah, Almighty. I'll put that on my notes for the next uh, Twitch show. I've, I've already got a couple things. I don't know if I'll fit it in, but uh, we'll make a stamp. An Al approved stamp. Uh, a, a, an Al stamp of approval. Yeah, that'll teach people how to make a stamp. A stamp. A stamp. <laughs> <laughs> and you Out of a piece of wood, you know, what the hey? You all thought it wasn't painted. <clears throat> it's got to have Kilroy on it now. Okay, okay you got that's it. Kilroy. Hey, that's not sexy, but it's there. Oh, Kilroy. Well, that's what she said. Sexy. I don't like that one. I'm an idiot. I disagree. <laughs> Thank you. I was thinking I was sitting there trying to draw that one the same. <laughs> Try to be supportive. <laughs> I got to copy and paste, even though that's not as sexy as that one is. But you know, what can you do? So, Charles, yeah. if, if you're not going to be doing a show on Fridays, that would mean that Friday nights would be free for some streamer somewhere. I don't yeah, know. That's right? what I was telling people in the beginning of the show. Yeah. Well, Carl does a, a Twitch uh, turning on Fridays as well. Yeah, I did um, not know that. That Well, no, usually it's over right before my show or slightly overlaps. I'm true. not it sure. Was, yeah. yeah, it was. It, it ended. Yeah, I was watching true. it, and it ended. But maybe, maybe after his would be a nice time. Well, that's completely up to I everyone. Good. I mean, there's no reason Let's to see. What do we got? We got from Monday through through Sunday. We got Carl Eloy. Uh, nobody's on Wednesdays anymore. Uh, myself. Russ is, isn't he? Carl. Yeah, Russ is on Wednesdays. On yes. Twitch, he is. Ah, okay, Russ. And uh, I was thinking just live streaming. So, oops. Nice. I'm up Monday and <laughs> Tuesday. Random, ah. randomly. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is your completed Gaudier-looking uh, lighthouse. And uh, <laughs> I hope you all like it or enjoy it. And uh, again, for the however many are still here. And you got well, Dave. It, it says 16 in the... It, it, but, yeah, when I go to participants... Oh, Jesus, my... Charles Deering, Jim Bashirs, Katie Dodson... Myself, Ron Doris, and, and uh, Scrollers Chat, which is Lee. Um, My chair is just about to fall completely off. But I know. Glad you can see this more. ashtray. It's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful artistic piece of. It's a nice piece of ash. Oh my godness. <laughs> there's, there's your just when panel. you thought there were no more bad jokes left. I got a million of them. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for that bad joke. No, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, again, if you didn't join me at the beginning, I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm not quitting yeah. live streams or project videos. I'm just not have not scheduling a show for a specific night. Uh, that is but, a cool effect. Yes, sir. It is. What is that? Infinity and stuff. It's my webcam aimed at the monitor. Yeah, and I'm sorry, Charles. I hope I didn't misconstrue what you had said. I was just talking, I guess. No, no, no. Uh, that's fine. Uh, uh, not not to beat a dead horse, but long story short, uh, depression is 
reared its ugly head and too many times I've had to postpone or cancel a show due to my mental health. And I don't think that's fair to viewers and subscribers, but the only thing I am stopping is the, uh, the con continuity of having a live stream on Fridays. I may still do that unless the show peaks its head up of hobby. <laughs> Uh, I'm just having a blast. Screen while I'm talking. Uh, I will still do live streams and I need to do project videos anyway. Uh, you know, recorded ones. Uh, but I just feel like I don't do them. I'm not doing enough for my viewers and subscribers. But you are Charles. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's not me dogging myself. That's just my own standards I set for myself and my channel. And uh, so this is not a tantrum by any means. It's just. Uh, no, no, I understood. Understood. But uh, I do have a question, and I'm sorry I'm going back fine. on to back on topic. You can ask me absolutely anything, even if it's not on topic. What is the view that we're looking at? Did Charles fall off his chair? Is that what I missed? I kind of heard that, and I got distracted. And well, the oh Jesus thing is my chair broke further, so I think before the night's out, I'll be on the floor. Well, what I'm seeing on on the on 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 the monitor, I guess, is live. Well, you're saying, okay, uh, this is yeah. my hand. This yes. the webcam is aimed at the monitor, and because it's the oh, signal gotcha. is bouncing back and forth, gotcha. it's doing gotcha. like a little fan shape. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. I just thought I, I thought that's a knife, which is why I keep on going back and forth so I can actually see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I thought we actually, had to each one is delayed from the next. That's even I cool. know that's the cool part. Oh my God. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I am not saying goodbye to YouTube, although some people out there that like to buy thumbs downs would like me to. I am not going, to, nobody's going to run me off of YouTube except for YouTube themselves. Uh, so much for trying to be serious. <laughs> I, 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 I totally feel like I, I can't even say what I'm, what I'm, uh, what I'm saying. Okay. We love you, Charles. Love you too. Now, no distractions. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. Th there <laughs> okay. are people out there, to, and this is not a whining thing. Uh, the, you, most of you that know me or keep track of thumbs ups and downs and views and this and that know that there's somebody out there to get me or or a couple. It's not going to stop me. I'm not quitting YouTube, and I never will unless I die. You know, because that's by default. Uh, but I appreciate all the loyalty, and it sounds. Yeah. And I believe it is uh, Ken McCrory. He asked uh, so. Is this a free pattern? Uh, only the the lighthouse from the last show is a free pattern. Well, this one might be too, but uh, it's, well, I, th I thought this was a lighthouse from the last show. That's that's why. But, no, that's yeah. uh, well, okay. I had started a when I did the part one. Uh, it wasn't called part one, but it was creating a lighthouse from this photo. Blah 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 blah. I'd only done half of it and. While I was doing that, I was showing everybody else the lighthouse I had been working on, which is the other picture Lee gave me. And uh, and I said when that one got done, it would be free. And it has been, and it was only free to people that mentioned this video or that video. And three or four people took advantage of that, which is good. I would have liked to have seen more, but, you know, it's free, so it's not taking anything out of my pocket. Or well, actually being free, it's taken out of my pocket, but it's I don't mind doing it because, you know, I have bunch of patterns that I'm selling. Uh, I am considering getting with Steve Neal and to see if we can figure out how to do a sale because the way WordPress works, which is behind the scenes of the site, there's a way to do a sale price. I'm considering doing uh, uh, price reduction for a given amount of time. I haven't, haven't decided how or what yet. Uh, but the, yeah, I'll go ahead and make this lighthouse free only to viewers. Please don't share this on Facebook and this and that. Just strictly people that are reading or hearing the these this uh what you call it this uh, stream. Anybody that emails me saying lighthouse number two uh, within the next week. Well, no, yeah, because the other one's already been put on the website. So yeah. the the first free web, first free lighthouse is no longer available. It's it's on my website, but I haven't put it on there yet because of my depression. And uh, so I may ask for Steve Nealon's help on that too. Sorry if I'm putting you on the spot, Steve. Next Friday is the 12th. Uh, are you establishing a date? I'm just trying to help you with a date. 
uh yeah uh yeah that works uh so, so till, till don't midnight. give him a date he's married well <laughs> so next friday at 12 by what time well i say i say next awesome. week uh, because the patterns are actually done on mondays i just due to my depression and crap haven't kept up with it so i'm putting more work on steve's shoulders and for y'all that don't know steve is steve Nealon and he's our new media he, he does my website that man works his tail off and i know hobby awesome. and al and all of them can tell you awesome he, he is always at yep. his computer when he's not sleeping yep and he is he is constantly working on websites and he's one of the most dedicated men i've ever met in my life and i also consider him a great friend anyways uh i'm i'm not buttering up to him or anything like that uh his prices are extremely affordable very 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 competitive and i guarantee you no other nobody else doing websites that does it for a quote unquote living i don't even know i said quote unquote i'll go Spends i'll go even i'll go even a little further if you are uh with GoDaddy, you're probably paying more yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i mean uh i i should have dedicated more time to bragging on steve because he and i know there's a whole bunch of people that can back me up on this i mean uh spends and he he doesn't give up like i do when it comes to if he can't figure something out he stays at it until he figures it out and my website alone gave him a lot of long hours and hobby too for a while there because hobby was doing the proofs and uh you know we were talking at the time i think it was about 1300 patterns i think i'm closing in on 1500 i could be wrong but anyway Long story short, Wooden Visions also has downloadable instructional videos that go into much more detail and better detail than what I did on this live show. Uh, there's, I believe, six downloadable videos. There's 14 ebooks uh, of just patterns, no instructions, just patterns. Uh, there's also t shirts, one that says scroll on, one that has a picture of me pointing and, and it says scroll on under it. And there's coffee cups and there's i have a patreon if you're looking besides you know patterns or t-shirts or whatever if you want some kind of reward system uh most of that is pattern related and but the for, scroll on and the scroll on t-shirt with his image is is a really nice flattering image it's not one that you would scare your kids away with i uh, i beg to differ but that's because i'm down on myself but anyway uh it's available just I, mean, I, I was sitting here trading like that like this is a goodbye show it's a goodbye <laughs> because it's, there's no more scheduled shows but i'm not gonna quit now there may be a little bit of a pause because of my depression i don't know why my webcam is pulsating like that anyway thank you to everybody that's been loyal to the panel loyal to the chat loyal to my channel the panel and the channel anyway Y'all mean the world to me, and I'm sorry to get all uh, sop, uh, was sappy. sappy. Sappy, yeah. So, whistle when you work. Anyway, I wish I knew you when you were alive. I wish I knew me when I was alive too. You, I would have liked me. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that'd be ironic if I get hit by a truck tonight. But anyway, uh, depression is taking hold. I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm. I want the only thing I'm really looking for is understanding, not not sympathy or anything along i just want people to understand why i want to give more my audience deserves more than i'm able to give consistently so uh only the guaranteed friday show is being eliminated but i will still do live streams uh may have to think of more things to do besides just <laughs> you know cutting something live in patterns but that's all i know how to do uh but anyway much obliged for everybody that's been watching the panel and and everything else. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to finish up. It felt like it's one of those hard goodbye things. <laughs> it's, it's those two words, those two magic words. They're actually one word if you're talking about goodbye. No, I oh, would, uh, oh, the, the other one. You, you know which one I'm yeah, talking. It's not, it's not the three <laughs> words the brick comes up with. But. Can we all can we all do it at the same time? Yeah, let me let me actually stop presenting and. Everybody point at your camera. And for the final time, one, two, three, scroll on. Scroll on. Scroll on.